<laughs> there are many mysteries hidden in deep water, from underwater gold treasure to the wreckage of Titanic. A mermaid broadcasted on live TV to an alien looking creature. Here is a list of things submarine captured that no one was supposed to see otherwise. Caesarea Treasure We all know that the idea of underwater treasure is one of the rarest yet anticipated discoveries. In 2015, drivers and archaeologists from Israel found a jaw-dropping treasure. They found over 2,000 coins of 95% pure gold. These gold coins were from an ancient merchant ship. This ship was believed to have sunk off the Mediterranean coast some 1,600 years ago, during the late Roman period. The treasure was specifically found off the ancient harbor of Caesarea in the eastern Mediterranean. Whale Shark Rescue While it might be quite frightening to come face to face with a massive beast like this, but that changes when you realize that it needs help. The divers who were exploring the waters found a huge whale shark trapped by a thick rope. This clip was taken in 2012, right off the coast of Raqqa Partidia, near Sacria Island, about 250 miles south of Baja, Mexico. Fishermen accidentally catch a mermaid. Of all the things that you may have captured while fishing, truly it couldn't be any stranger than what these fishermen did. In the clip, you can see a couple of fishermen catching something that looked like a mermaid. It was large enough, had a human-like figure, and had webbed fingers. This strange catch started to struggle vigorously, making the fishermen hesitate and let it go back into the water. SS Thistlegorm With the sea covering most of the world, the deep sea is full of mysterious aquatic life and wreckages. SS Thistlegorm was a British cargo steamship that was built in 1940 and sunk by German bomber aircraft in World War II at the Red Sea. As you can see in the footage, it was carrying trucks, armored vehicles, motorcycles, along with weapons and ammunition. This once upon a time cargo steamship lies almost eight meters below the surface and is now a well-known diving site near Ras Muhammad Nature Reserve. Mayan Cave this submerged wonderland is probably the biggest in the world, stretching to over 216 miles long. Located close to the beachside town of Tolum, Mexico, a diver exploring discovered the cave, and it is believed to belong to the ancient Maya civilization, which lived some 4,000 years old. The cave was identified after months of exploring a maze of underwater channels. After 10 months of an exploration program led by underwater archaeologists, they discovered several Mayan artifacts. These include ancient pottery and human bones that date back thousands of years. It connects to a separate 50-mile-long cave, forming one long mega-cave. A real sighting Most of the mermaid sightings we see are recorded by random people with non-verifiable sources, but this one was broadcasted on a news channel. This man-made video of what he thought was a mermaid shown on live TV. The clip starts as the newscasters were talking about a fish that had a spear in its fins. The poor fellow was struggling hard, but suddenly a huge tail passed by it. Even though the clip remained on the screen for a moment, still due to the shape of the creature, people named it a mermaid sighting. Apollo 11 Engines Sunken ships of gold are not the only treasures under the sea, but think about the bits and pieces of spacecraft. Think about the museum-level worth of these parts of the Apollo 11 spacecraft, which was the first ever spacecraft to the moon. Amazon founder Jeff Bezos in 2012 managed to recover the wreckage of the used F-1 engines, which plunged down to Earth into the Atlantic Ocean. These bits and pieces were thought to never be seen again. That was until he decided to search and bring them to the surface. Bezos and his team used top-notch deep-sea sonar to locate them, which they managed to locate some 4,300 meters below the surface. Blunt-nosed six-gill shark. Imagine being hundreds of meters deep into the sea with total darkness. It would be an outer space-like experience. A team dived into the deep sea to over 700 meters. Upon reaching, they discovered several huge sharks near a whale carcass. 
Every shark seemed to want their piece of the pie, or whale in this context. As a result, they got aggressive and started biting each other, probably to get a bigger share of the meal. The shark started bumping onto the submarine, taking it to be a competition, but returned to feasting, being convinced that the sub was not interested. These creatures live in tropical waters worldwide and are known to be 6.1 meters long. Yeti Crab this is one odd species of crab that lives in waters near Antarctica. These swarms of ghost-like crabs move sparingly and live near hydrothermal vents. These vents have hot water that makes up the environment where these crustaceans thrive. They are called Yeti crabs because of their hairy undersides, which they use to detox minerals from the water. The males are larger than the females and stay closest to the vents. They feed on communities of bacteria on their hair-lined bellies. The females with eggs move farther away into cooler water, likely to protect embryos. These marine animals live in utter darkness at depths of more than 2,000 meters. Mermaids sighted while swimming. Unlike most caught-on-camera clips of mermaids on the internet, this one footage clearly shows a mermaid clearly swimming in the waters. Unfortunately, the location of the sighting is unknown, but by the looks of it, it does look like a real mermaid. Sea pig. These creatures are something in between adorable or terrifying, or just plain weird. They grow up to six inches long and walk around the seafloor on elongated tube feet, which keep them from sinking into the soft mud. Like sea cucumbers, they also look for decaying organisms on the ocean floor. These creatures congregate and feed around decaying pieces of animals and algae using tentacles around their mouth. These creatures cannot be properly studied because they live just too deep. The Lost City There is so much history underwater that is yet to be uncovered. A French underwater archaeologist, Frank Gaudio, dedicated his life to finding the Lost City of Thonis Heraclea. Its existence was questioned until it was found after years of searching the Mediterranean by screening the vast area off the coast of Egypt. It was one of the largest ports in the country that managed all the trade in Egypt at the time of the pharaohs. Rising sea levels and natural disasters eventually submerged this city 2,000 years ago. A gigantic face was the first breadcrumb that emerged from the dark waters that revealed this lost city. They found dozens of ships and huge statues. The Titanic This has to be one of the most popular known shipwrecks of all time. It was at first thought to be impossible to reach the wreckage as it is 3,800 meters deep. A group of experts reached the Titanic wreckage after years of preparation and spending $200 million in the process. They managed to explore the upper deck of the ship and most other parts of the wreckage. Surprisingly, most of it is still intact, although it is covered in rusticles after decades of being underneath. F-4U Corsair Aircraft Wreckage One man's wreckage can be an animal's paradise. F-4U was a World War II fighter aircraft that ran out of fuel and landed on the water and gradually sank to the bottom of the ocean. Decades later, this wreckage has become a well-known dive site, with it being the home of many sea animals. The currents attract coral fish, turtles, eel colonies, and even whales taking shelter on or near the wreckage. The Underwater River River beneath the deep sea sounds a bit ridiculous, I know, but it's true. This remarkable location is just 15 minutes from Tola, Mexico and is one of the most mind-blowing diving spots. The underwater river flows 55 meters below the ocean surface. Now, you might be thinking, how come they remain separated? A layer of hydrogen sulfate is what separates the fresh water from the salt water. It creates the magical cloud layer called a halocline, which keeps both from mixing into each other. SS City of Cairo Another deep wreckage, the SS City of Cairo, was a British passenger and cargo ship. In 1942, this ship was sunk by a German submarine in a skirmish 
and the ship descended to the depths of the Atlantic Ocean. In 2011, a team of Deep Ocean Search managed to locate the wreckage of this sunken ship by using high-tech equipment. It was found 5,150 meters at the bottom of the ocean. Giant Oarfish We can never contemplate about all the creatures that exist in the depths of the ocean, but to keep exploring and studying. In the clip, we can see that Divers captures a face-to-face -face moment with two of these incredible creatures, although not sure as to what those oarfish were up to. They are typically found in the deep sea since food is scarce in deep water. They come to shallow waters to look for prey. They often end up getting washed off on the beach, and as you can see in the clip, that locals are trying to help them back into the water. These creatures are known to reach up to 3 to 8 meters long and belong to the depths of 1,000 meters in deep sea. Curious Whale there is only a limit to the depths that divers can reach, and they require modern technology to reach the dark, pressurized depths of the deep waters. A couple of researchers were monitoring methane bubbles and sampling using a remotely operated vehicle roughly 600 meters below the Gulf of Mexico. A curious sperm whale appearing out of the blue surprised them. This huge, magnificent whale began circling the vehicle several times giving the researchers a perfect opportunity to capture this incredible footage of this amazing creature. HMS Terror HMS Terror is another ancient but fascinating underwater archaeological site. In 1845, this vessel left England to explore the Northwest as part of the Franklin Expedition. The HMS vanished until the wreckage was found in 2016. It was found on coast of King William Island in the middle of Terror Bay, at a depth of 21 to 24 meters. The archaeologists were shocked since the ship still remained intact after being abandoned for nearly two centuries. How did the ship survive? Well, since the wreckage was in cold ice cap water, there was barely any sunlight, and currents were also not strong, keeping the site undisturbed. Big Fin Squid Ever pictured an alien-looking creature below the sea? Well, this is it. This clip was taken at a Shell oil drilling site, where one of these creatures can be seen chilling in the Gulf of Mexico at a depth of 2,377 meters. Big fin squid, often called squid with elbows, have two short and eight long tentacles that are held at right angles to the body, giving them the appearance of having elbows. This squid is believed to be 4 to 8 meters long, with thin elastic tentacles, 15 to 20 times larger than its body, and are found to be 3,000 to 4,700 meters deep. These creatures feed by dragging their arms and tentacles along the seafloor to grab edible organisms, or wait for the prey to bump into their elbow arms. Pyramid of Yana Gunny Underwater World has a lot to be explored, and it teaches us about the history along with discovering new species. The Pyramid of Yanaguni is an underwater wonder. Off the coast of Japan, sitting only 5 meters below the surface, it is believed to be constructed around 10,000 BC. This pyramid is made of layers of sand and mudstone, while stone tools, artifacts, and tablets were also found. It is also a pretty cool dive site, but it wasn't until 1985 that this incredible, strange-looking monument was discovered. Soon, the discovery there has been a debate as to whether it was formed naturally or man-made. Jason Underwater Statue Imagine you're enjoying the breathtaking view below the surface when you come across this statue of Jason Voorhees' statue in Minnesota Lake. Sounds quite terrifying for a moment, but a hilarious prank at the end of the day. Moving on to the subscriber's pick of the day. What type of creature do you think is this? It surely looks like a mermaid judging from the tail and the way its face looks like a human female. The picture looks blurry, maybe, because the photographer of the picture must have been terrified of being spotted by this mermaid. At this point, there is ample evidence on the internet to prove that mermaids are very real, but only on the internet. Gulper Eel this deep-sea creature has a big mouth, but only to gulp. 
These creatures use the flow of the currents to move effortlessly in water. It has a dark, long, narrow body which is three feet in length and may seem innocent until they open their big mouth. With its huge balloon-like mouth, they are able to gush the water in to swallow their prey. They can eat anything from tiny crustaceans to fishes large enough to fit in their mouth. Gulper eel are rare to be found at the depths of 600 to 1800 meters. Deep Sea Space Gravity If you ever wanted to experience what it would be like to float through space, you can do so at Tipitu Pass, which is a well-known diving spot. The clip shows a diver who floats through the depths without any ocean life in sight, which makes it seem like empty space. He looks weightless since he takes advantage of the strength and pulls out of the lagoon's deep current, which makes him float like an astronaut. Christ of Abyss Christ of Abyss is a 9-foot tall and 2,000-pound bronze statue that rests 25 feet underwater of the Mediterranean Sea near Gonia, Italy. This Christ statue is one of the most visited dive spots in Key Largo. This reef is excellent for both scuba diving and snorkeling, and part of the reef comes out of the water at low tide. It was created by Italian sculptor Guido Gallietti. Truck Chuck Lagoon Chuck Lagoon, previously known as Truck Lagoon, was Japan's main naval base in the South Pacific during World War II. It was the site of a major U.S. attack which some deem as Japan's Pearl Harbor in 1944. It is a massive graveyard of dozens of ships and hundreds of planes sitting in the depths of the Pacific. This graveyard has remains of human skulls, bones, gas masks, bullets, and so much more. The remains are so intact that they were haunting the photographers who went down and said it was one of the scariest shoots. They had to use remotely operated vehicles to get a proper glimpse of these haunting artifacts. Sharks that glow. Glowing sharks would probably be the coolest thing ever found in the deep sea. Only a handful of creatures in the world are bioluminescent. Cat sharks are one of them. It is a shark that lives in depths where there is no light. So they use a chemical in their skin that makes them glow. Their glowing light is green or blue, colors that travel far in seawater. The glowing helps these creatures to attract mates, lure prey, or confuse predators. These sharks are found 1,000 meters deep off the coast of New Zealand. The Underwater Garden Growing things underwater might sound impossible, or at least quite difficult, but this project called Nemo's Garden is something that begs to differ. Nemo's Garden is underwater and 100 meters off the coast of Nali in Italy. This project began in 2012 and consists of seven pods and biospheres capable of holding around 22 plant pots each. These balloon-like pods are pegged to the seafloor by six meters long rope. Inside these pods, a variety of food is being grown, including red cabbage, lettuce beans, basil, and strawberries. It uses renewable energy from sun and water obtained by desalting the seawater, making itself sustainable. Ancient ship with wine jars. Now, that would be some expensive booze. A submarine ROV discovered an ancient Roman ship that had a cargo load of dozens of huge wine jars. The vessel lies 92 meters deep in the Mediterranean Sea off the coast of Palermo, which was discovered during an underwater reconnaissance expedition. H.M. Submarine Perseus is another war wreckage found in the Ionian Sea, a submarine used by the British during World War II. H.M. Submarine Perseus was built in 1929 and lost in 1941 during the Second World War. This British submarine sank on December 6, 1941, leaving a sole survivor of the 61 on board after hitting an Italian mine outside of Scala, Cephalonia. The wreckage is at 52 meters below the surface, was discovered and surveyed in 1997. Frustrated Sea Snake Just as drinking can make anything look more attractive, maybe the same can be said when a snake can't see that well. A scuba diver in Australia came into contact with a giant male olive snake who had bad vision. Since these snakes are mostly active during the mating season, it mistook the diver for a mate. Now this could have been a good story to share with the lads, but the diver had to keep the snake at bay 
as they are quite venomous. Thank you very much for watching the video. Do like and share it with your friends. If you like the content, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to not miss any of the upcoming amazing videos. Thank you once again.